Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your September 2016 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month I'm going to be using the Messages from Your Angels Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue and of course pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Deck by Anna Seagal. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com the services tab. If you want to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below. And yet still again for this month, we are going to have extra readings posted for you up on Gumroad. It's gumroad.com slash angel souls. That information will be down below as well. When you go to the Gumroad page, you're going to see all the extra readings and you're going to see two courses there if you would be interested in those. But you have to scroll down. I think um, a lot of people are going to that page and going, wait, this doesn't make sense. You have to scroll down. There are all my products. Okay. Okay, so there's all the business end of stuff. Let's get started. Hi there, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you for September 2016. I'm just going to warn you right now, everybody popping out babies. I swear, this is like all these children cards, like all these pregnancy cards <laughs> popping up for various signs. We'll see what's going on for, for you. I'm not joking. This just flipped out of my hand. It's the Rosetta card. It's a kid's card. I don't know what y'all are doing out there, but there you go. This could also be, if you're not looking to be a parent, you're not looking to get pregnant or anything like that, this could be you nurturing your inner child and sort of studying and finding, uh, finding a way to heal that which you feel needs to be healed. You'll see me looking down here. I have my little monitor over here. Uh, I use a GoPro. It doesn't, mine doesn't have a flip screen. So hence me putting videos out there with messed up hair because I didn't know any better. Um, another baby card. If you're not looking to get pregnant, be careful. Like, not kidding. <laughs> like, at all. And then we have something that refers to a miracle coming to you. Well, okay. So let's just... It's weird. Okay. I'm not even going to lie. It's weird. Let's get into this here. So the first guy we have is Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. So if you're looking to start a family, for some of you out there... I, 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 yeah, I think the thing is pretty good. I think your chances are pretty good. Now, this might be you. It doesn't necessarily mean that, like, let's say you've been having fertility issues, okay? And you're trying and you're trying and you're trying. This might be the month that you decide, you know what? Maybe it's better for us to adopt. We can keep trying, but, and maybe we will get pregnant down the road. But let's adopt because we want to be parents a little sooner than what this is taking. You know, this might be the decision that some of you make. Now, if you're sitting there going, listen, I'm 85, I'm a dude. <laughs> What's all these baby cars? What's up with that? These can definitely indicate giving birth to a new situation in your life. Ooh, and I felt like very uplifted when I said that. That's beautiful energy for you guys. Um, or it could just, well, this card in particular is saying the kids are watching. The kids look up to you. You, in fact, are an inspiration, whether you feel that way or not. You definitely are. People are watching how you do things. So the next card we have here is Maya. Schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. You know what's so funny? Some of you might literally be in school, and that's amazing, and this is saying, yes, you're on your right path. But I think for a lot of you, this is finding... I don't know. It's it's like something that makes you feel very alive. It's something that you want to learn about that you had no idea that that even existed. Let me see what's up with this. You know, um, this almost feels like research. So some of you are taking up new hobbies. Uh, who knows? I mean, maybe you go into a museum and you see like an artifact and you're like, oh my gosh, what culture is that from? And you go off and read more about that culture. You get a book on it or something. And it just makes you feel like so intrigued. Now, why in the heck would this be part of this message for this month? All the emotions that you get from things that you enjoy, uh, that's what puts you in that good energy so you could bring more good things in. So go do it. Never diminish something that you're enjoying, <laughs> okay? And it doesn't mean that you have to like torture yourself and work really hard and blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's some element of that in life, I suppose. But seriously, that's like a very big, important message for you. If you find something that you love and you enjoy, um, aviation is coming up. This came up for another sign too. This is a very bizarre time for recording readings but um th the other time it was like people with like model airplanes but I feel like someone's going to like um again a museum museum keeps coming up so someone's probably going to go to like a museum and you're going to learn something it's like an aviation museum and it's going to make you feel very alive in one way or another that's like a couple of people out there but for the rest of you same kind of idea insert whatever it is it might be unexpected you know it might be something like oh I didn't know I cared about this and then here it is and then it just really um 
they're, use, they're using the term tickles your fancy. <laughs> That's like such an old fashioned saying, but it's something that really just ignites an intrigue in you. Okay, so Isaiah is the next card. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. So there you go, spurring on this new hobby or new interest or something like that, or in fact, giving birth to a baby or conceiving or just starting a family. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. So fear not guys, when things are coming up and you're like, gosh, I don't even know who I am anymore. As long as you're not hurting anybody, <laughs> this is a wonderful thing. So embrace it. It's time for a change. It's time for a breath of fresh air in your world. All right. So it's a gift. Then we have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Once again, I feel like this is adoption for some people out there where it's like you finally get news of, okay, the adoption process, it's working. Or um, now Mercury is retrograde, so papers, paperwork, you know, you got to really watch it, but don't give up keep charging ahead something's going to come out of the blue something's really going to come out like you did not see that one coming and here it is to help you again it has that miraculous kind of feel <laughs> about it so this is something really amazing with all these other cards guys it could absolutely be an unexpected pregnancy some of you are going to be over the moon about it others are going to be like oh my gosh i don't have the resources to do this it's going to work out again miraculous solutions will appear. Let's get your color card going here. <gasps> Brilliance, discover your sparkle. The number is 26. So I know I keep harping on the baby thing. I can't help it, it's like coming up for everybody. <laughs> Maybe you didn't know that you wanted to have a child until you got news that you were pregnant and then it was like, oh my gosh. But again, for some of you, some of the other people out there who aren't looking to start a family right now, this Brilliance card is saying you're finding something that ignites you. You're finding something that just really opens up your energy. It makes you not even really kind of care so much about all the turmoil that maybe has been going on. It's a beautiful release and it's through this beautiful release that you find joy and you can ask Haniel to help you figure out what would bring you joy. Um, and when you find your joy, like I said before, your frequency is higher. You are in alignment with beautiful gifts that can come into your world and it just keeps getting better. You know what I mean? So embrace this month, guys. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it's going to turn things around for you. So there it is. Have a beautiful month. And of course, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.